Right then, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. Whatever it is, wherever you, whoever you happen to be. My name is Paul. I do the daily teasers over on YouTube. You've possibly seen those. Um, if you haven't, yeah, moving rapidly on. I do daily teasers for people's enjoyment. I wipe my screen just to make sure there's no dribble on it. But I also occasionally watch film and TV shows. You might want to go check out my relevant playlist there of the things I've seen. One of the TV shows I follow is, of course, Doctor Who. I'm now something of a lifelong fan of the show. Tonight is Sunday the... Let me double-check the date there. Sunday the 2nd of February, and, of course, I've seen tonight's episode. Sixth episode of Doctor Who's 12th series called Praxeus. Let me try and sum up the episode for you as quickly and as efficiently as I can, shall I? Episode 6, Praxeus, opens with astronaut Adam Lang, played by Matthew McNulty, in trouble as his re-entry vehicle crashes. It introduces us as well to his husband, Jake Willis, uh, played by Warren Brown, as he arrests the shoplifter. It introduces us to vloggers Gabriella and Jamila, played by Joanna Bulger and Gabriella Taloy, as they come to what Gla Gabriella assures Jamila is one of the most beautiful rivers of Earth on Earth, and finds it covered in rubbish. Lots of plastic, lots of stuff. It also introduces us to Aramu and Suki, um, excuse the pronunciation here, played by Tapelo Morapathela. I hope I've got that right. Apologies to the actor concerned if I haven't. Uh, and Suki's played by Molly Harris. The pair are on Madagascar trying to find out why birds, crows, non Madagascan crows, are flocking around and dying on their patch. Lang seemingly sends his estranged husband, Jake, a text message over the phone. One that sees Jake hijacked and arriving in Hong Kong to meet Yaz, Andy Gill, and Graham, Bradley Walsh, already trying to find the missing astronaut. Over the night, back in Peru, that's where they are, Jamila disappears, attacked by, again, another crow. And it's only when Gabriella finds a dead crow dropping out of the sky that she's contacted by Ryan, Tosin Cole, warning her to go nowhere near it. Suki and Aramu, their early morning star, is interrupted by a screaming mad woman, the 13th Doctor herself, Jodie Whittaker, running down the beach, screaming and yelling her head off because she's desperately trying to find a missing submarine. What the 13th Doctor only finds, eventually finds, what the Doctor finds is the one survivor from the sub who promptly explodes. You can tell, can't you, that the possibly unmentioned as till now talking cat in Canada isn't really relevant, can't you? Now, 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 now. Are we looking at a good, bad, or indifferent episode? Are we looking at something that's heavy-handedly preachifying to us about plastic pollution and warning us that we have to do something or else we'll die? No. We're seeing in Praxeus an episode that's got a good little detective story to find, that's got a bit of a clock to it, and it's, it's one that's giving... It's one that's giving each of the regulars something to do. Ryan gets to investigate the dead birds, and he's following um, Gabriella about. He's fed off with her. Um, I've got to admit, I love that the workout line. He's, I think they're setting Toes and Cole up as the, the, the heartthrob of these series. Um, like I say, Ryan gets to do, to set the bird to find out what's wrong with it. Yaz is following up the Hong Kong end, and the apparently alien world that seems to be very plasticky. Um, again, they're giving her quite a bit to do this season. Graham is doing his wise counsel of it. Yes, there's the comedy hours. I think the problem's behind that wall. That door. 
there's a touch of the comedy there for him. But he's getting to do his wise counsel a bit. He has to sit in with Jake, who's, it has to be said, has quite a relationship with his husband. It's a little, it gets resolved at the end of the episode, but you can see the pair are having a problem. And Graham helps out there. I'm very aware that many fans have been unhappy about the tone taken of Series 11 episodes. Uh, and I've been quite possibly unhappy about one or two episodes in this series. I think this might be one of them. I know I felt the Doctor's big speech at the end of Auckland 55 was decidedly heavy-handed. I can sympathise. I think, though, that those fans may have little to complain about with Praxeus. I write teasers, as I've mentioned. I write fun daily brain teaser quizzes just to entertain people. And one of them, coming up on the 11th, has got a sort of science fiction TV theme to it. But I use a quote from the late, great Frederick Pohl to highlight a point. He said, quote, Someone once said a good science fiction story should be able to predict not the automobile, but the traffic jam, unquote. I think that applies here. Praxis isn't about plastic rubbish in the ocean. It's telling us something we already know to an extent. It's telling us it's there, and it can cause a problem. But it doesn't get preachy about it. It literally doesn't. It's just simply trying to tell us there's a problem with plastic waste, it can cause more issues than we think. But that's basically what it's saying. But it does so in an entertaining way. Granted there's problems to the episode. It does have its issues. We don't get to find out much about Suki's people. Well, the fact they're desperate enough to use humanity as lab rats. We don't get answers to last week's big revelation about the Joe Martin character. Something I felt would be resolved with this episode and something I think in retrospect it's frustrating, yes but in retrospect it's possibly going to get tied off further down the line frustrating, yes, something I would like to have seen, yes but there's a few more episodes to explore that the only other uh, drawback I felt was that we didn't get to see the Joanna Borgia character uh, Gabriella um, we didn't get to see her grieving the loss of a friend in this episode. That is a minor thing, because of course, for most of this episode, she had a lot of things coming at her. It's minor, it maybe would have been nice to see, but it is literally a minor point. On the whole, on the whole, I think Praxeus is a rock solid, wonderful little episode. A one I feel much like Curse of Paladin, much like Monster of Paladin, much like a lot of the poetry episodes. It's rock solid. There's a political slant, the plastic waste in the ocean, but it's a rock solid, very watchable, very entertaining episode. Personally, I liked it. I hope you did too. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment. Please like and share. Have a good evening. Enjoy next week's episode. Take care.